Well, this will be the test. Uh, as you saw in the previous video, uh, I moved my paddles on my snowblower to improve the throwing performance. And uh, well, now we waited for some snow. We got some snow today, and so we'll give it a try and see how it's working out. So we're going to take the snowblower out and see if we can't blow a little snow. So let's get started. Now I have something I want to show you guys. A couple of years ago, I put Swiss track flooring in my garage. I really like it. It's beautiful, easy to keep clean, uh, very neat looking. I had some pieces left over, and well, at the originally I put, I covered my porch with a Swiss track also, and the benefit I found from it is that even though it's, it's polypropylene which you think might be slippery it has tremendous traction not near as slippery as concrete especially with snow on it and so this last year or last spring the I had some tiles that were left over and so I added them on my walk as a test I was so impressed with the porch that I thought maybe this would make a good walk covering material so I put this down and so far it's working great it's super easy to clean the snow from it, and if you are shoveling, it's a lot easier to shovel also, and traction's good. And so, so far it's passing the test, and if, it, uh, if I'm satisfied come next spring, I think I'll buy enough tile to completely cover my walk. Yeah, this is the, here's a good view of my garage. That This is two years old now. Uh, the, the, uh, it's open under the Swiss track, so the water that drains off the car runs in under the, under the tile and eventually evaporates and dries out. Uh, it does get a little dirty from the car in the wintertime when you bring in a dirty car like this and let it drip all over the driveway, but hey, it mops up fine in the spring.
Well, there you have it. The snow throwing test went well. I think it was a success. Uh, I think we demonstrated that the uh, blowing capacity is restored to original. Um, actually, in operating the machine, I can't tell any difference with the paddle adjustment versus new paddles. So basically, I saved myself 70 bucks. Thanks for watching.